and we're gonna go hunt the Corps of Engineer land that borders the lake. And Bob's been seeing a lot of deer, and the rut should be on. Real bow hunt today, and gun hunt tomorrow. I'm gonna go walk into this area that I've never seen before and pick a tree, and hopefully I choose wisely. And then uh, when I'm not feeling it anymore, I'm gonna get down and go run the boat to three or four spots and try and find something for the next couple days. See what I can see. We, we, we went in there last night, right at sunset. Yes, we did. We're all set up. We, we hung a climber and a ladder stand. There's two funnels that where they enter and exit, and we got both funnels covered. And what, what are the atmospheric conditions today? Chilly, light breeze, East northeast, um, clear skies, sunny, and um, uh, there's a good chance of deer precipitation. Quite a place you got, Bob. It's pretty luxurious. The floating deer camp. And then there's a barge out there, and we use the the party barge to ease across the lake. We made the morning transition. That's the barge that we'll be heading out to our spot in. And let's go see what young Michael's got going on. There's the houseboat. That's pretty cool. <laughs> There's a good name for a boat. But Mike's headed out in his Duracraft. Got a little 40 horsepower Merc on there. Yeah. Hey, how's that, uh, Tripod of yours doing on level ground. Is each leg adjustable? I don't think so. A bunch of deer came in like right at dark and they were right behind me and they kind of smelled me, but they couldn't quite, you know, get enough to, to spook. And uh, so I finally got turned around where I could get an eyeball on one of them and I put it on her and shot and I hit a branch or something and uh, she jumped off but stopped and turned around and looked at me and I was able to get a pretty solid neck shot on her. The boat there? Yeah, I loaded up in the boat and I drove out here and way back in this shallow water area. That's the Duracraft. I saw a couple this morning, but then nothing from seven to like 5.15 when these came out. Gotcha. All right, and then y'all carried it about half a mile with the pole? Somewhere around there, yeah, I'd say so, about half, half to three quarters. So you were back in, back, way back in there. That's what it takes some time on public land, huh? Mm -hmm. And you put in the work and you were rewarded. Good job, Mike. We'll take the tripod down, take the ice chest in, get some ice thrown on it, and it's all good, right, Mike? All good. Anything to say in closing? God is good. God is good. Amen. Thank so Bob shot a deer this evening, and uh, he's going to line me out, and we'll see if we can locate where he was. Yeah, when you shot him. <laughs> and that's how you catch an armadillo. Okay, let's turn him loose, see what he does. There he goes. In the night, in the woods, no blood, but he found him. 
I don't have a clue what he is. I think Bob got the big guy. Bob's seen a big buck run through here. And uh, things been making some pretty good scrapes. <laughs> He's hooting. Good scrapes and rubs. Bob's been on him now for two weeks. He's been hunting him back in this spot. I saw him the other day. That's him. That's him. <laughs> He stuck his head out one time too many. Bob, you're right. That's an old wound. Yeah. Probably opening day. That could, that could be a bow. Could be. It's hard to say. Could be. What tough animals. Yeah. There's another nighttime skinning job on the portable rack. Bobby got that for 79 bucks. Yeah. The not a care. Houseboat. There's our four wheeler, the equivalent of a four wheeler that ran us around and got the deer. That's our ATV. <laughs> our ATV. And uh, there's the $79 tripod that we butchered three deer on. That thing was worth its weight in gold.